Hello, my name is Rebecca Bavillier, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about Total English A and B classes. Now, the students who join A and B, their English level is usually lower intermediate to advanced. So the question is, what is the goal of our classes? What are we trying to do in our Total English A and B classes? Um, the big goal is to learn English, but even more than learning English, we want to learn through English. So we want to learn about new cultures, new ideas about people um, through English. We learn content through the English language. The other thing, the other goal um, is to learn how to communicate meaningfully, to be able to communicate with each other, with the world meaningfully. So if we want to communicate meaningfully, what do we need? We need words. We need ideas. You want to communicate ideas through words. Now we put those words and ideas in structure, in some grammatical structure so that it's understandable. But we also need purpose. We need all four of these words, ideas, structure, and purpose in order to communicate meaningfully. I'll give you an example. I show you this picture and I say, what do you see? Um, and someone says, cat, tree, hide. Now, those are words, right? Cat, tree, hide. But I wouldn't say that the person has communicated meaningfully. They used words, but I don't think it was meaningful communication. Another student would probably say, the cat is hiding in the tree. That sentence has words, um, it has an idea, and it's also, it also has good structure. The grammar in that sentence is good. And so that sentence makes sense. Okay, the cat is hiding in the tree. An even better conversation would be this one. Where is the cat? The cat is hiding in the tree. In the third example, there is purpose. There is purpose in that example. Um, someone is looking for the cat. Maybe the cat ran away from the house. So they ask, where is the cat? The cat is hiding in the tree. So um, in total English, A and B class uh, classes, we try to um, have more meaning, not just words, not just grammar, uh, but meaningful uh, communication. So uh, the big question, the next question then would be, where do we find these words and ideas and structure and purpose? I'll give you a second to think. Where would we find them? The answer is, they are all over the place. They're in so many places. The Bible, in songs, in books, in movies, in conversations. We find, we'll find words in all these places. And so, if we want to improve our communication skills, if we want to improve how we communicate so that we communicate meaningfully, we need to connect with these resources. We need to connect with, um, with the words, uh, with, the song, with the books, with the songs, with the stories. We need to connect with them. So in Total English A and B, we connect with these stories through reading. And through reading, we learn new ideas about happiness, about health, about success. We learn about people. We learn how to read, write, listen, and speak. That is the power of big reading. So you're probably now asking, what does big reading mean? Big reading in total English A and B classes um, 
can be summarized using these three words. Big meaning a lot. We do lots of reading, lots of stories. Our students um, read from different places online, read from the library, from different uh, places. Wherever you can find something to read, if it's good, go for it. The other uh, way I would describe the kind of reading we do here is it's easy. And I will explain that in a minute. But it's big, it's easy, and enjoyable. You only read what you're interested in. If you're not, if you don't like what you're reading, then it becomes boring and you don't want to continue doing it. So I will explain that part of easy. Why do we read easy reading? Um, it's very important to start at the right level. And so we tell our students, start easy and take enough time. Um, so sometimes we tell our students, if you, this is not a very easy habit for you, reading, start with picture books. Start with a book that has pictures and maybe a few words. Many of our students then ask, hmm, this is a university. Why am I reading a picture book? I will answer that question using this analogy. So say I want to increase my reading muscle, but I am like the man um, on the B side. And I want to be able to read a lot and read um, difficult texts. I want to be like A. I want to increase my reading muscle. How do I move from B to A? So that maybe, maybe my answer to that question is, I will go to the gym and I will lift weights. So I find these different dumbbells. Which dumbbell should B start with? Which dumbbell would you advise B to start with? Should he start with the 10 kilograms, the 15 kilograms, 20 kilograms, 25 kilograms, or 30? Remember, he wants to be very strong. Which one should he start with? I hope your answer is 10. He should start with the easiest and then slowly build his muscle so that he's able to then carry the 30 kilogram um, dumbbell, the 30 kilogram weight. If he starts with the 30 kilogram weight, he will hurt his muscles and then probably get frustrated and not want to do it anymore. So start easy and slowly move up the levels. Move from level one to two to three. And you are now able to, you're, as you're reading in all those books that you're reading, you are getting more vocabulary, more structure, more ideas. Um, your uh, linguistic ability, your, your ability to communicate also increases. So start easy and move up the levels. So in total English, this is what how we, our classes usually are. We do lots of reading. Um, it from start, we start easy and then we move up the levels. Every student starts at their level. If you are, if you think level one is easy for you, you start at level one. If level two is easy for you, you start at level two. Um, so we are in, in a situation like that one, everyone in the class is reading. We are getting lots and lots of input. And it's enjoyable because Everyone is reading a fun story, but the, the dis, what, what you decide to read, the book you read or the song you read or listen to or the stories that you read are different. They are based on your choice. And every student reads a different one. What is exciting is coming together and hearing what other people are reading. You get to learn, oh, um, Mr. Uh, maybe Yuki is reading about uh, saying no to overwork. Um, 
uh, Masami is reading about uh, different communities in the United States. And we come together as a community of readers and share what we are reading. And then in that sharing what we are reading, when we talk about the stories we are reading, the people we are meeting, we are using our, our language skills, we are talking, we are writing. And so from the listening, from the reading, we are able to have output. We have been able to communicate meaningfully. We, come, we are getting ideas from the books and then we are able to share them with people around us. We are building a community of readers and readers who share ideas with each other. So that's how we work in Total English A and B classes. We read lots of stories. They are fun stories. Um, and then we, we share with them with each other through our writing, through our speaking. I look forward to seeing you in our Total English A and B classes. And but before you join us, I hope you start reading, start reading. Um, and if you want, please start with picture books. Start with the easy ones and move up the levels. Thank you for listening. <laughs>